Strong wind warning, aircraft unable to return home. I think we've lost him again. Transmission lost. Right, we're back in Australia. We have a little bit of unfortunate news that we have to share with you guys, but more on that later. So today is the weekend. We're going to go for a bit of a walk, maybe grab an acai bowl in Bondi, and give you a bit of an update, what we've been up to, where we're currently based, and what we're going to be doing for the next couple of months. Let's go. Hasn't been long and we're already back unpacking the smart box here. As you can see, we're halfway there. The reason why we actually needed to bring this back is pretty much essentially because we don't have a fridge and a washing machine. All the other stuff we could live without, but with the fridge, of course, you kind of, you kind of need it. We've been eating out for the past two weeks and living out of our suitcase, which is fine, but you do get sick of going out to restaurants. You need restaurants. to take this one. You need to take this one. Anyway, I'm gonna go and help. How are you going there? We're almost done, I think. Oh, now no. we've got a heavy fridge to go. And then we have to unpack all the boxes. Which is right at the back. The fridge is right at the back, unfortunately, so it's gonna to be tough. I think there's a car right in front of us as well, so maybe we won't even do it today. We'll just go or something. So what do I need? My little mic, I missed it! <laughs> My little fluff. Where's yours? It's so windy. Yeah, it's very windy today. Fluff on. Voila. Boom. Cheers. So, Bali was so amazing. And then we always had a plan to come back to Australia, right? Because yeah. my parents were supposed to come and visit. So my mom and my sister, they came to visit for the first time two years ago. And then my dad couldn't come because of work. So that was the first time for him this time. So yeah, so we stayed here in Sydney for about a week. We showed them around the city, there's so much to show. And then we decided to go to Central Coast. Uh, that was one awesome, of our, yeah. yeah, one of our favorite places here around Sydney, Avoca Beach, Copacabana Beach, not in Brazil, but here in Australia. And yeah, they loved it as well. It was really hard to say bye, but they really had an awesome time. Um, we did too. And we are now in... Coogee. Coogee. Yeah. Coogee Beach. Yeah, it's Saturday a beautiful place. Today. It's very busy. So lucky we live now just a few minutes away from the beach. We've really been enjoying our swims in the morning and training sessions or walks. It's just so convenient because when you live so close to the beach, you can pretty much do anything. So you can go to the shops, go for a swim, go do a gym session if you want to do that, or go for a walk, which is one of the most famous walks in Australia, actually. It's called Coogee to Bondi. Coogee to Bondi, I'll show you. Yeah. Um, so basically, that's the main um, parade here. You've got the Coogee Pavilion just there. And then you've got people just playing just there. That's the beach. So yeah, I mean, it's not as busy as Bondi, but it's still super, super nice. And we actually probably prefer Coogee over Bondi because Bondi is just super packed. And yeah. every single tourist goes there and just gets a little bit messy. Whereas here, it's obviously still a super nice beach, super close to everywhere, but not as busy, not but as still, busy. still a lot of tourists come here and yeah. um, a lot of expats live here. So yeah, it's a great place. So yeah, we're very lucky to be here. Yeah. Just have a few things to fix here while we're in Australia. And then hopefully we can woo! continue our travels. That's right. <laughs> but we'll talk about it a little bit later. Yeah. So, Let's go get a coffee. Yeah, we'll go get a coffee, go for a walk, maybe as I mentioned before, get a nasa bowl and then we can talk about it. <laughs> actually yeah I'm quite enjoying it the cool thing about Coogee is it's a really nice swimming beach 
because it gets deep really, really fast. So compared to Bondi, it's a good surfing beach. Um, very, very shallow, so it takes you a long time to kind of get wet, so to speak. Whereas here you can go out, boom, it's really, really deep. So really nice to have a bit of a tanning session and then go out for a swim. But there's also other benefits to Kuji. You can pretty much go to Bondi in like 10 minutes if you have a car. You can go to the city in 20 minutes. Anything close to the beach is good for us. Like just in the morning if you want to go and have a walk and just sit on the beach at night as well after work you go and you sit it's just so nice you can sit on the cliffs there's some cliffs here or you yeah yesterday we sat here beach. and and there was this incredible moon that came up yeah. it, it almost looked like the sunrise it was crazy it was like lit up incredible and you can just sit here you have this really nice breeze coming through from the ocean it is a really really nice place to live and you always see people just having their takeaway coffee and walking with their dogs every second dog is a bulldog <laughs> and it will be probably a bulldog <laughs> i love them they're so funny um but yeah it's a it's a really nice area we're very fortunate to be here at the moment of course it wasn't the plan but i mean you can't plan everything in life so we can't complain for now. Exciting. We're getting ready to go and fly our brand new drone. Why brand new? Because <laughs> something happened. <laughs> tell them the secret. You tell them. Well, you know, we bought a new drone. We bought a camera when we were about to go traveling. And then we used it maybe once or twice in the Philippines. And then in Chargao, we were like, oh, let's go and fly the drone. And it was super, super, super windy. windy. Super windy. And then whilst it was following us, boom, it collided with one of the trees and fell down and <laughs> it was a sad moment. It was very sad because we were heading to other places afterwards. We were like, yeah, yeah so we're going to do amazing shots with the drone and Pimpil. Yeah. Ruined the day, ruined the week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we fixed it. Yep. And now we have it. Where is it? Here somewhere. Yep. So we may as well go and try to record yeah, some right. plus, footage. Yeah, plus like Sydney is pretty much based on a cliff edge. And so hopefully we'll be able to catch some of that. You know, I'm not sure so how big the cliffs are here in Coogee, but I know when you go to Bondi, it's like incredible. So yeah, let's go have a look and then see how good it is. Exciting. You ready to fly your drone, darling? Um, yeah, I'm a bit scared now because I crashed them last time, so. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. Aircraft unable to return home automatically. Oh no. Lower altitude immediately. It's so windy. <laughs> Come home, baby. Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> Wilson! Wilson! Transmission lost. I don't know where he is. Oh no. We need to go find him. So, little test flight done, which is nice. Woo! We almost I've, lost him. <laughs> I've missed him. It was a bit windy, as you can see. We've got a few planes flying, but he did a pretty good job. I'm proud of him, and I've called him Wilson. So Let's I'm gonna, have a look. I'm gonna call him Wilson from now on. And yeah, we'll take him out another time when it's less windy. I almost lost him for a second. Ready for the best acai bowl in the world? Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Um, can I please just get in? Acai bowl with um, extra granola and peanut butter, please. Thank you. Can you get the same for me as well? It's so good. It is, isn't it? It's really like 
our favorite acai. We've tried so many everywhere in Australia. And this one from Bondi Road. Mm. Yeah, it's just such a good balance, isn't it? It's incredible. We are so cheeky, we always get extra granola. Yeah. <laughs> There's like literally so much granola. Granola and peanut butter on top. Oh. But we don't have a tissues. Ah, that's right. A few moments later. <laughs> what it's has happened? Everywhere. <laughs> My What's hair going on? A cyborg. <laughs> no, help me. <laughs> oh. oh no. Okay, help me, please. All right, let's go wash, <laughs> wash your hair, <gasps> wash your fingers. <gasps> please help. <laughs> you okay there? Got a bit of an issue. You got your hair stuck. made it to Bondi, one of the most famous beaches in Australia, maybe even the world. It's a really nice beach, super, super close to Sydney, to the CBD, which is nice. Um, as you can see, a lot of people have already left because it's the end of the day. But let's quickly talk about some of the bad news that we have. So um, I've had a few health issues for the past 12 months. It's nothing too serious, but I had a um, ongoing DVT, a blood clot, in between my um, what's it called clavicle so the collarbone and the first rib and so when we were coming here from Bali we we're like okay we're going to make sure um, that it's nothing serious we wanted to see some specialists and just make sure that um, it will get resolved or it will get better and so apparently after seeing a few specialists I have a condition that is called thoracic outlet syndrome and to fix it you essentially need to get surgery so that's probably something that we're going to look into um, in the next coming months so we're probably going to have to postpone our travels unfortunately which is really really sad but I think that health always comes first so we'll keep you updated and we'll let you know how we go and hopefully after the surgery we'll be able to continue our travels and our plans but at the moment it looks like we're going to stay here in Coogee for the next coming months and then we'll, we can kind of play it by ear depending on what the doctors say so yeah, thanks so much for um, staying with us and we'll keep you updated and we'll see you guys in the next video.